Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. Okay, so today we're going to make these mini easy books. They're like so easy to make and they look so cool. As you can see right here, especially with the decorative paper. And before this video starts, remember you need to hit the light, light, <laughs> hit the like button, subscribe and comment down below what I should do next. So I can get started on making these. So first though, to do it, you need five sheets of paper to make it mini. This is um, A6, I think. So basically, it's like that. And then obviously fold it again and you should get that like cut in quarters and you should get two equal bits like that, you see what I mean? So that's where you can get that paper. I just found some for work. And then you'll need some decorative paper, so that is well the size of what you saw, so it should be A6 and this which I got as you can see right there, it doesn't really say like the size, but in comparison, this one's this one I got is uh, six by six inches, so should be roughly about the size of that. Obviously, though, it depends what paper. I just found that this one's a really good paper for this, but you can obviously have smaller and I think you can get away if you just cut that like a square in the first place, but I'm just going to use this because, well, I just found a way to do it, so yeah. And then obviously you'll need some glue. With this method really is optimised for glue, so it's not really much. Let's go and see what we can choose. Um, I'll think for <laughs> Anyway, let's go and see what we could have for that, just kidding. Um, hmm, what could we do today? So we've got these ones. Hmm. Well, let's just use this one then. So. Yep, we'll get to this one. And obviously, if you do want to scan the barcode, there it is. Just pause the video to do it, and oh, yeah, that's how I just got this one. It works, yeah. All right, so now we've got all the four pieces of paper, or the five, and the overgrown paper. You can basically use white, but obviously, though, I'm going to do it because he looks so cool in that. Is. I know it's going to look like this at the end. So, yep, and you'll need one of these um, decent sized ones. Don't go for like small one, big the better, but obviously, this one is perfect. You don't have to have one of these, but recommend it. So, yes, yeah, so what we need to first start to do is we need to go and get one of these. We need to fold it. Fold it this way actually. I'm gonna fold it like this. And then you want to fold in half like this. Turn over, fold this to the top bit. And then turn over and do the exact same. And then, well, there's one bit as you can see right there. So now, all you have to do is do it for the other four sheets. So, I'll just quickly do this. It is quite simple. So, yeah. So yeah, and you can obviously cut this highly, so yeah, but obviously I do get all your paper ready as, yeah, 
and I have seen my subscribers. It has gone past 50. Other than was going to do some kind of subscriber special for a um, air hockey thingy because I made air hockey sticks. And I'm going to say when we reach 50 subscribers, I'm obviously going to make a like a thing like a board that I can flat down and take for travel. I will try and see if I could try and make it. But it's obviously in the works as. Hmm, I want to optimise it without any glue or tape or anything like that, but it might maybe use a glue or tape. And um, so that means that then you can basically take it on travel and obviously go and well do some air hockey and make the air hockey stick. As the video, obviously, the video was two or one videos and there's one that I made in the video. So here's what I made at home with also the air hockey coin and yep and this is the coin as you can see right here that's how I did it because not as much re resistance resistance of the coin but yeah there you go just want to say that because I so I have reached it so wait a minute one two three four hmm I've, I've got one yeah you guys have five sheets and I got six in so yep there's no one two three four five there we go now it's five <laughs> so, yeah, you want to obviously go and do this. One final one. Please do comment down below what you want me to do next because it might, you might actually, it might maybe happen. Because I don't know what I used to do and I haven't posted for quite some time. So, ah, uh, so. Yeah, definitely um, tell me and I'll see if I can try and do it. I am so the subscribers are going up, especially the Xbox controller, which I did. definitely did do a redo and I'd rather you watch a redo, but you know, you guys have to watch that video that I don't really like, but yeah. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five. We're obviously going to start getting started into it. So first thing, you need the one that has two Vs like that. You get another one that has... Obviously these V's are with open side, so if it looks like this, just turn it over. And there's another one. We need to turn this over like this. Now this obviously is the opposite side. You basically want to put this into this like this. And push it in like that. And what you want to do is then you want to go and turn over and you want to go and open this up you want to try and move that to the obviously to where it should be and then you want to go and get your glue there it is you obviously want to push this to where it is glue that bit Glue that bit, oh, moved it, fold over, turn, press it like this, open it so now where this bit is open should be on that side, and then you basically want to repeat your process with that like this, turn over, open, adjust this one because that one's obviously already stuck. And you want to go with that bit, that bit there, fold down, pass it in, you want to turn, turn, oh, oh no, it's already been stuck down, turn, then I've one in here.
like this. Shut down. Turn. Oh. And then put that one in. Turn. Open. Put that one in. This is a little bit confusing, but obviously, you know. I think you should get a hang of it because it's basically the exact same thing as what I did at the start but over and over and over again. So yeah, and now we should have something like this and then we need to turn over and do the last step. Just open this up, glue, glue, fold. I should have this, so now you need to start collapsing it in like that and squishing it down like that and now you need to go and find the bits where it's like open like this so you need to go and do this turn over because we want this bit to be glued so we'll open it up and then it should be like mountains not the other way and shit like a bunch of valleys you want it like a mountain 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 let's go and get started on gluing so you first want to go and not glue this bit but just glue this and just make a straight line like that you literally just have to do that you don't have to cover the whole thing as i just found that is easier and you fold that behind and just keep on doing that And then open up. Remember, you don't want to glue the last one again, like what we did before. And we didn't want to glue the first one because then you got gluey stuff. And now you've done that, so then fold in like that. And now you should basically have something that looks like this. But now you basically need to let this set for a bit. So I'm just gonna put this. I'll put that on there. And now we just have to wait. But no. Let's go on to this, and this should be partly dry, and then we can put it in and obviously do all stuff like that. So now I'm going to basically fill it, I'm going to turn over because I've obviously got a colour, so if it is, it should be right side out like this. I'm going to fold up, you just want to make a little crease mark, fold down, and fold to the middle. So now I need to go and get this, and just to see which one. It do now. I always like doing a board as you can see right here. If you open it up, oh, there's a border there and a border there, so I'm definitely going to do that. So, yeah, now I'll just crease this back in and do one at front. And for me, it, this bit's just basically I just fold it down. Obviously, you need to see what fits that as you can see right there. I just fold it down a bit with a little bit of a gap so it doesn't anything like that just like this and you can see right there it's roughly the same size roughly. so yep and then you should have something like this so now what you need to do is you need to go and do this somewhere put it like Roughly somewhere in the centre, as you can see right there, it's not the exact. And then you just have to pinch on the other side, pinch. Which now you should have a proper square. So now I need to take this out, open this up, and there's my pinch mark. So this is what I do. I do that, but I do a little bit like over because I'm so want it really tight. And I do the crease mark, and I open up and do the same. So that's where the crease mark is. I just fold on that crease mark that we did before. And just do it like this. Now we've done that. Now you want to go in and you want to go and fold with that in the way it is really annoying, but you just want to do something like that. I'll just drop down like that. There you go. And then for me, I'm obviously done really done. There we are. Reinforce it. So now I'm finally. So for me, I'm not going to fold there. I'm just going to fold a little bit out. 
So I've obviously got a little bit of a pull there too. As you can see right here, once this is stuck in like this, you can see there's a tiny bit of a border. So I'm going to just do that the exact same on to the other side, if I can there it is. And now it's left with something like this. So now we need to get this out and we need to open it up. So now this should be partly set and open it up. And now what we need to do is we need to open this flap, this flap. Now this is the tricky part. Obviously do it however you like to as an easy way. But this is how, what I recommend. You want to glue just this box here and glue just this box here and this is a tricky part you want to go and get the center and push there and don't push in these bits and get the other bit push there and don't push in these bits because these bits should be open now this is the thing you want to go and glue but you don't want to glue all the way to the edge because remember though you've obviously done a little bit of border do a lot of glue in the middle of it and then obviously glue out but don't glue these bits because well they're the bits that you can't fasten down as you can see right there this is a lot of glue which is good I'll just pull it off to like that right good and after we go at these well obviously I'm just try not to and now we basically need to hold it up like this, fold a little bit like that, so yep. And then you need to try and see if you can try and get this one and put that inside like that. And get this one and put that inside that pocket and flatten, well push it, say like that. You want to flatten the whole thing. You have to push, and this is where the tricky pit is. Now you have to start rearranging where you want these borders to go. So I want it like there. And then you obviously want to push down. Uh, so now and that was good so I'll see if I can try and fix it by doing that actually <laughs> you know what I'll just you know, that one if I can so I'll turn it out so that's a little bit better than I was not See if I can try and do it on this one too. There we go, yep, there we go, now I've done part of it, so I'm going to just press down, and now you need to push down, and you need to rub, like this, what this will do is, this is so then we can get the middle bit and glue as much as a little bit, and then just press down with your hands like that, and now you need to go and get these like this, these things, and then we need to go pinch, 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 and do it on the other side. Pinch, 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 pinch. Obviously, do it double so you can reinforce that, and then press down the whole thing.
So I'm just putting this in here. So I can obviously fasten some of it. So we've got something like this. And then all you have to do, let it dry a bit. And then at the end, wow, that looks really nice. Look at that. So at the end, you should have books that look like this. You can see right here, I love that one. So yep, and you got books like that. So I'll see you in the next video. But remember though, as always, if you haven't obviously already, please do subscribe and please do hit the bell icon so you never miss another upload. And obviously though, do please do support me by commenting, what should I do next? And liking the video and all things like that. And obviously, I'll see you in the next one. Good bye.